Today, I've put together a compilation of 10 really cool Halloween ideas. And to start, I'm going to show you how to make a huge, scary spider. We're going to need a pack of black furry pipe cleaners and a furry black pom-pom. Line up four of the pipe cleaners next to each other and hold them together with another one wrapped around the middle, like this. Leave the ends poking out of the front about two inches. Next, take the pom-pom and we'll mount it to the back of the spider here. Use a pipe cleaner wrapped around to make a differentiation between the head and the body. Then fix it to the legs. The body of the spider is very fluffy. If you like, you can leave it like that or trim it a little with some scissors. Next, fold over the little sensor things at the front and space out the legs. To make them a little less furry and uniform, you can use a lighter to slightly melt the tips of the legs and a couple of intermediate points up each leg to give them definition. Make sure you don't touch them until they've cooled down. When it's cold, bend it into shape. And there's our huge, creepy spider. Perfect for Halloween. For this smaller one, which I made by cutting down the legs, I also used an orange pipe cleaner to make some stripes. And if it's too orange, you can dull it down a little with a sharpie. Once you've made it, you can play a Halloween prank on someone by hiding it in a cupboard. Next I'm going to show you how to make really creepy witch's finger biscuits. I used a shortbread recipe to make the dough, then roll some out into a finger shape, and use your thumb to make a couple of impressions like this to form some knuckles. Then use a knife blade to give your knuckles some lines. Then mould an almond into the end of the finger to form a nail. We're then going to remove the nail, put in a small amount of strawberry jam, and put the nail back on to make it look like dirty fingernails. Then carefully place it onto a baking tray. Once they're all baked, leave them to cool, and you've got these amazing witch's finger biscuits. A perfect snack or treat for Halloween. You can make a really cool mini munchkin pumpkin with pointy fangs. Draw on a face, then carefully cut open the mouth and clean it out. I removed the skin for the eyes and cut out the nose. I made fangs by cutting the points off cocktail sticks, then used pliers to plant them into the mouth like this. Finally, I used some liquid paper to paint in eyes and drew in some dots with a marker. And there's our vicious little munchkin pumpkin. Pretty cool, huh? I've now enabled memberships to my channel. For a small monthly fee, you'll get access to my custom emojis and channel badges, discount on merch like these Halloween socks and hoodie and more. You can find out details by clicking the join button. Next I'm going to show you how to make a glowing skeleton decoration using glow-in-the-dark hot glue sticks. Dim the light and you can see them glow. I printed off this image of a skeleton, then slid it under a sheet of baking paper. Then use your glue gun with glow-in-the-dark glue and trace the image. If you like, you can embed a piece of ribbon into the skull to hang it up from later. Leave it to cool down for 10 minutes. Then use a black marker pen to draw on the face. Dim the lights and you can see it glowing. Pretty cool, huh? Peel it off the baking paper and hang it up. It makes a great Halloween decoration. You can also make a glow-in-the-dark spider web by drawing on a series of lines that cross in the middle a bit like a star. Then link them all up with curved lines, starting from the middle and working your way out. It's a bit difficult to see it on this white paper, but when we dim the lights, you can see it glowing. Leave it to cool down, then peel it off. And if you want to, you can use black glue to make a spider. I stuck mine onto the web with some adhesive putty and some smaller ones too. You can turn the light on your mobile phone into a black light to make fluorescent objects glow in the dark.
we'll need a blue and a purple marker pen and some strips of tape. Stick one over the light on the back of your phone and colour over the tape with a blue marker pen like this. Then stick another strip of tape over the top and do exactly the same again. Finally stick a third piece of tape over the top and this time colour over it with the purple marker. It may not look like much but that's our black light complete. Turn it on and it emits a nice blue glow. It works great with these neon marker pens which are fluorescent under black light. You can write something on paper and give it a go. Or what's really great is colouring in some Halloween decorations. Then let someone use your black light to find hidden items and messages. For this one I'm using face paint on my hand so when I put it in front of a black background you get this really cool illusion. I used some water based face paint and started by drawing a black circle on my hand. Next I used some red around one side to give it some depth and blended it in. I splattered some more around that to make some grazing and used some white too to highlight certain areas. I smudged it in a little then did a similar thing to two of my fingers. When I finished it looked like this. Now when you dim the lights and put your hand in front of a black background this is what we see. It looks horrific. But it is only special effects makeup. You can make it look like you're putting your finger through the hole. Or even a pencil. But it is of course all just an illusion. You can make some glowing Halloween slime by taking some Elmer's green glitter glue and emptying it into a bowl. Then fill the bottle half full with water, give it a shake to clean it out and tip it into the bowl too. Give it a mix with a spoon. Then pour in a small amount of liquid starch. Carry on mixing it and after a minute or two you should have amazing stretchy green slime. It's fun to play with like dropping it over your hand or stretch it over a bowl and watch it bubble. You can use it as part of a Halloween display, maybe decorate a pumpkin or fill up a jar and light it up with a glow stick to make some spooky Halloween spider slime. You can make a really cool smoking pumpkin by mixing together one tablespoon of glycerine and one tablespoon of deionized water. This solution is similar to what we find in smoke machines. Hollow out your pumpkin and carve out a face. Next place four nails into the base of the pumpkin and place inside three candles so it looks like this. Sit a foil tray on top of the nails and spoon in some of the solution we made earlier. As the mixture heats up it gives off smoke which pours out of the eyes and mouth. It gives off a lot of smoke so do it in an outside well ventilated area. And for a final really cool outside decoration you can take a cardboard tube from a kitchen paper roll and draw on some spooky eyes. Cut them out then slide a glow stick inside. Tape over the ends to stop any light escaping out of the sides. Then dim the lights and there's our spooky eyes. You can cut out different shape eyes and use different coloured glow sticks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more you can click on the links. Stay safe, have fun and as always thanks for watching.